Hey everyone, just want to show you a quick video from uh, John Lilly of the Toronto Sun, just kind of breaking down a recent small election that just happened in the Kitchener region, and then uh, we'll talk about it after. By elections are by elections, and they don't matter until they do. And for the Ontario Kitchener Center by election that happened on Thursday, this only matters for two parties. It doesn't matter for the NDP, doesn't matter for the PCs. They both lost, but the Greens won. And they go from a party of one to a party of two. They can have a nice reservation at a restaurant, perhaps. They doubled their seat count. This is all good for Mike Schreiner and the Greens. But for the Ontario Liberals, this is a horrible, horrible result. Their candidate, Kelly Stice, finished fourth. She didn't even get 2,000 votes. She didn't even get 8% of the popular vote. So this is an embarrassment for the party. Wow. It's an embarrassment for all the leadership candidates that went out banging on doors for her and trying to get her support, especially for Bonnie Crombie, the perceived frontrunner. And for this to happen just before the Liberals announce who their new leader is this weekend, that, well, that's saying something. And that's the interesting part, isn't it? It's not that just that the Liberals lost their seat and the Greens won. That's not so important. It's that the Liberals came in fourth and did not even get 8% of the populist vote. Now, as of last night, Bonnie Crombie is now the new leader of the Ontario Liberals, so she's not taking over Justin Trudeau's spot, but, you know, she's she's going to, you know, come in with her. I haven't watched her speech yet, but, of course, she's going to come in, oh, I'm a new person, new hope, new day, all this crap. Yeah, you're a Liberal. We all know what the Liberal Party really wants. They don't care about us. We already know that. And people in Kitchener, although usually vote pretty Liberal, and they kind of did. They vote for the Greens, right? I don't think it's a great vote. Um, but you are going to see the Greens gain a little bit in popularity, just like you're going to see the NDP gain a little bit in popularity because some of those Liberals are going to move to those parties. Most people, most common sense people, are going to move over to the Conservatives. In fact, I think that you're going to see an even higher turnout in the next federal election because of how bad things have gone and people are just going to vote just to piss or screw Justin Trudeau over. And his Liberal fans, I, somehow he still has 25% of the, of the vote apparently in Canada which I don't understand how one in four people are that stupid. No offense, but if you're voting liberal at this point, I mean, what what has what has Trudeau done that you like? Well, climate change, he's failed in everything he's done, and now everything else is more expensive. You like that? Okay, even if there were some decent results, you can't just tax the climate. That's not how it works. We're going to make people pay extra for services they need. That doesn't help anyone. And by the way, the more poor people there are, the more people who are struggling financially, the less amount of people are going to care about the environment because they got bigger problems. Or what about the future? They don't have a future when they're broke. You think they're worried about the, the ice caps melting when they're facing eviction? Wouldn't it be better to not tax anyone, especially considering it's not working? And then they'll have more money. And then we can worry about other issues like that and try to see if we can do something about the climate, work on some sort of new green energy without punishing people for using it because they have to. That's stupid. Not to mention all the woke crap, not to mention the 17 times wearing blackface, not to mention the, the standing ovation for a Nazi in parliament. Not to mention COVID, not to mention freezing the, the people's bank accounts, not to mention not even speaking with the convoy, not to mention the lockdowns, inflation, housing crisis. Like, what's there to like? He's a douchebag. You ever watch, you ever watch him in, in question period in Parliament? He throws tamper, uh, temper chan, uh, tantrums and then Pierre Polyev just roasts him. Now, I do think that in the next couple of years, that's going to change. More people will go over to the Conservatives. Some people think they're going to give the NDPs a chance. Well, maybe some of them will, but a lot of people are pissed at the NDP because of the coalition they formed. So the, the Liberals are, I mean, this is a very small election, a very small result. It doesn't matter in terms of the federal election, of course. But is this a sign of things to come? Is, a, is Justin Trudeau, by the time 2025 comes around, is he going to get 8% of the vote? Maybe a little bit more, maybe 10%. But I really don't see how one in four people are going to continue to support this guy. That's not enough for him to win, but it's still too much support. 
I mean, really, it should be zero, but there's always, you know, there's a sucker born every day, right? So you're going to have some people. But it's just how much he has embarrassed our country and how much he has embarrassed Canadians. Other world leaders don't even want to talk to him. And the ones that do can barely even speak like Joe Biden. So it's just, it's, it's, just, it's so ridiculous. It's just going completely downhill for him as it should. And I think this election, this small election is a sign for things to come. And they're going to lose more seats. They're going to have less of a voice in Parliament, just like they should, because they have screwed Canadians over. And I think they have screwed Canadians over for the last time. Thankfully.